Find all the values of x in the range of x between 0 and 180 degrees, satisfying tan 2x equals 4 tan x. So let's have a look at that first part then. So a, let's use a double angle formula for tan, which is 2 tan x over 1 minus tan squared x then. That's tan 2x is equal to 4 tan x. Here we can cancel both sides by 2, can't we? Here and here. And then we can move this term that's underneath up onto the right hand side. So tan x is equal to 2 tan x, 1 minus tan squared x. Now let's move this tan x over to this side as well. So this will be 2 lots of a half tan x, won't it? So when we move it over, it's like having a minus a half, isn't it? So this implies then, so we got here we've got 2 tan x, so I'm just going to write down the right hand side, 1 minus tan squared, but we also need a minus, because the 2 tan x is outside, minus a half, so 1 minus a half is a half, minus tan squared x, so hopefully that's clear, that's the right hand side equals naught, because there's nothing left on this side, and I've written it down from right to left. So you might take a couple of line, more lines to do that than I've done here. So here we can see that that implies then that either this is naught, the product is naught, so either this is naught, which gives tan x equals naught, or this is naught, and that tells us that tan squared x is equal to a half, and that implies that tan x is equal to square root both sides plus or minus 1 over root 2. Okay, so there's our solutions then, here and here. We want to solve for x between 0 and 180, don't we, in the problem? So let's turn our attention to this problem then, shall we? So for tan x is 0, let's draw a circle, right cast, um, and then tan is, we can say it's non-negative, so it's positive, tan is positive here and here, draw two lines, mark off the alpha, the associated acute angle, and simply write tan alpha and drop the negative if there is one to drop. Tan alpha is naught. Shift tan of naught is naught. So alpha is naught then. So we go around to zero. So x is equal to naught degrees. And the other solution would go around to here, which is round to here rather, which is round 180 plus naught, isn't it? So it's just 180 degrees. Both are within the range that we were interested in. The next one is plus or minus root 2. Let's have a look at that one. Let's do tan x equals plus 1 over root 2 then. So here's our axes. Right cast. Tan is positive here and here. So draw two lines. Mark off alpha, the associated acute angle, and simply write tan alpha is equal to and drop any negative if there is one to drop. So alpha is shift tan that then, let's tap that in the calculator, so shift uh, cancel uh, shift tan of 1 divided by root 2 square root of 2 outside the square root close the bracket for the shift tan arc tan 35.26 we'll do to 2dp 35.26 degrees. So that's alpha then. So here's our first solution for x is equal to 35.26. Now the other solution is around here 180 plus 35, but that's outside our range that we're interested in because we're only interested in 0 to 180. So that's that one. Now let's just do the last one then, tan x is equal to minus 1 over root 2. Let's draw a circle. Cast. Tan is negative. Tan is positive here and here, so it's negative there and there. Since we're only doing 0 to 180, we're only actually interested in this segment here. So we write tan alpha then. The associated acute angle here. Drop the negative if there is one to drop. So we get 1 over root 2 again. So we know that alpha is 35.26. So that tells us then um, the x value is round to here, which is round 180 
back 35.26, which is 144.74 degrees. So in conclusion, then we've got x equals naught. Um, x equals 35.26. x equals 144.74 and the last one was x equals 180 wasn't it so four solutions there for the value of x